Fussy cutting is so popular right now, so you'll see it in a lot of projects, and we wanted to share some tips for how to get this look in your quilt. So we made some cute little sample blocks. Um, so we fussy cut from the Safari Swank collection from Northcott, a just really cute jungle animal prints, which is just perfect for fussy cutting. So you can fussy cut with any project you're working on. All you need to know is the size of the piece you're cutting, and we're gonna show you a few tips for how you can see what this will look like in your finished block. Yeah, so first thing is we created a little template, like a viewing window. And this is kind of just out of cardstock, and you could use um, cardboard or template plastic, and this is really helpful. So you can kind of move it around on your fabric and see which of these motifs are gonna really work for the size that you're working with. So yeah, maybe the alligator doesn't <laughs> work as well because he's a little longer and you'd have to cut off his tail. Mm -hmm. um, but we found that the gorilla and the elephant worked pretty well. And then of course, keep in mind too that you are gonna lose a quarter inch. So you don't wanna get too close to the edge. All right, so let's find an example. For instance, this rhino, you can see his horn and his tail are right on the finished center piece size. So you're going to lose a quarter inch on both sides. So this one, if you're okay with losing his tail, you might want to scoot over a little more or you might just want to choose a different motif. Right. And then same thing kind of with the elephant. So when we centered that up, it, you get a little bit of those monkey eyes at the bottom <laughs> and maybe that's not something that you would really like to do. So I would say just kind of cheat that a little bit and then you'll lose that monkey actually in the seam allowance so it doesn't show up in your finished yeah. elephant piece. So if you're using this method, you can just mark um, where to cut once you find where you like it. So we can just mark the corners here because we're cutting straight lines on this piece. So you can use these little guides to line up your ruler and cut this shape out. And then we also have some other types of things. Of course, a ruler, square ruler works great. And if you are going to be cutting a lot of the same size, probably good to invest in yeah. just that size ruler. There's a lot of rulers that are meant specifically for fussy cutting. So you can see this one has uh, where all the lines intersect right at a center point. So you can center your piece for all of these different measurements. But uh, definitely something to check out if you're cutting a lot of the same pieces. Yeah, and then for English paper piecing, there's this really fun template that has the hexagon marked on there for you. Yeah, so you can see where, you know, what you might want to cut out ahead. You can see that and you can just cut around this template to center it. So lots of great rulers and tools out there for fussy cutting. It's so popular. And then the last thing we want to keep in mind is you're going to need some extra fabric for this because as you're being so selective with where you're cutting, you know, you're cutting out some parts, you're not going to use some parts of the print. So you do need some extra fabric. Yeah, you'll, your fabric will look like Swiss cheese when you're done fussy cutting from it. So you definitely want to make sure you're getting more than your pattern intends. So we hope these tips help you fussy cut for your own projects. It's so fun and it's a great way to show off some of your favorite fabrics in your quilts.